Okay, so let's move on to question number two. Uh, so question number two in this paper is uh, a minimization, uh, but this time not using Boolean algebra, using Kano maps. And what the question says is minimize the following circuits using Kano maps and draw the simplified circuits for P and Q in the spaces provided. So there's one um, complicated circuit given for the output of Q and then there's a space given to draw out the Carnot map and another space given to draw out the simplified circuit and then at the bottom of the page there's another similar one for P. Okay, so let's start with the first part uh, which is Q. Um, so when you get this sort of question, uh, the best thing that you can do, or, or what I like to do at least, is first identify the gates, write the um, write the outputs in front of each gate, and then write uh, the total expression, right? Um, and then um, and then work from there. There are times when you can take part of the pa parts and then fill out the Carnot map, um, and uh, other times where you need you need to write the whole thing out. Okay, but let's start and see. Okay, so we have this AND gate, which is going to be a A, A, and B. And then this gate, this is going to be a C and D, C and D. And then we have uh, both of the output from these go out here. So this is going to be a A and B and C and D, right? So it's going to be basically A and B and C and D. So you can just write all of that as A, B, C, D. Okay, um, right. Actually, let me fill fill out the Carnot map right here. So this is going, to, I'm going to take A and B as the horizontal and C and D as the vertical. So we we'll have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. And same down here. And let me just on the top, I'll write the same in um, letter format. So we can have A bar, B bar, um, a bar B, A B, and A B bar, right? You can write either this or this. You don't need to write both. I'm just writing this in, in uh, to be extra clear. Right. So here we'll have um, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Oh, sorry, 1, 1, 1, 0. And this is going to be C bar, D bar. C bar D, C D, and C D bar. Okay, so this is a card card map. Okay, now why I wrote this is uh, this is only one single output, right? There's only one state where it's both it, everything A B C and D are all true, which is going to be C D A B right over here. So this one is going to be a one, right? And that takes care of this output right over here. Okay. Let's go to the next gate. So this is an AND gate with three inputs, right? So it's going to be A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay, actually that looks simple, so let's fill out that as well. So A, B, let's go to A, B, and C. So C, D, and C, D, but both of those get curled, right? So we have three variables, so you should be putting at least two ones here, right? And we did, and that's taken care of. Okay. Next, we have again a three input AND gate, so it's going to be not A, not A, B, and C. Not A, B, and C. So not A, not A, B, right? So we're going down this column, and C. So these two, one, two. Three variables, two ones. Looks like it's right. Next, again, we have not B, not C, not D. Not B, not C, not D. Okay. So we'll go to C bar, D bar, C bar, D bar. That's this row over here. And in this row, we're looking for B bars. Okay, so that's taken care of that, <laughs> right? And then go down to the next few gates. So we have uh, B O C not B 
for C not and then that output there goes to the AND gate which is D so D B O C not right and right so this this I'm going to just simplify right over here this is equivalent to again apply De Morgan's theorem so keep the D there and this if we apply the De Morgan's theorem it's going to be B C right okay so this is going to be C bar B bar C bar D um, so C bar D C bar D C bar D C bar D is over here so this row and we're looking for B bar again so that and that okay right so we you, right this is always a good practice somewhere on the scrap rough paper or somewhere you can write the actual total output so this is going to be a b c d or a b c or a bar b c right o b bar c bar d bar o b bar c bar d All right okay so that's the total and if you want you can double check what you have here right but i think we did everything correctly so we go ahead and put the other zeros there right so we have the zeros there good okay now we filled out the Carnot map next thing to do is to group the ones or the zeros I'm going to group the ones so it looks like we have one block over here which looks like it's going to be common B by is common there and then from these two what's common the zero for the C is common so B bar C bar that's the common one there and then we have another nice square block over here right and what's common there it looks like the B is common these two and from these two what's common the C so C okay right and that looks like it that looks like uh, uh, looks like all we can do so right so the this output it simplifies to B C O B bar uh, C um, right so we can draw this um, let's do let's see is there anything we can do with this you can also write this as B C um, B O C bar I don't think that's any easier so no need to do that we'll just stick to this part so it's going to be B C right O B bar C bar and that is your equivalent minimized circuit okay so let's go down to the next one okay so again we're just going to do the same process um, write down the terms fill out the Carnot map minimize and then draw the circuit so what do we have here we have a B then we have not B right. and then we have C not D I'm running out of space so I'm just going to write it over here C not D and this is C D C D right and exclusive O so we have A uh, no space A exclusive o, B 
right and then right that's it okay for the first level that's it so uh, what we have for this gate we have a b and this line is coming all the way from here so it's c d c d okay then this gate what do we have we have c d bar or c d mm -hmm. that's this one right that's this one over there then for this gate what do we have we have c d and a exclusive or b okay and for this gate i'll draw it from over here what do we have we have exclusive a o b and c okay so what do we get just so i don't make any mistakes let me label all of them there all right so then this gate over here is going to be not B and C D bar O C D. Okay, that one's done, that one's done. We just need to do this last one over here. So this one is going to be output of this, which is C exclusive A O B and not C. Okay, so that was that. All right, now you can do this a few different ways, right? Um, what I'm going to do is there are some of these which we can just very sim we can um, simplify just through inspection and simplify the overall um, output expression quite a lot by doing that okay so let me change colors to black and then let's have this okay uh, let's, uh, output let's write the output right over here let's write it over here so this is the unsimplified one Q is going to be this one so A B C D right? or this one over here this is right B bar now here you can see that C C is common and D bar and D right so we know that we can write this as C D bar D which goes to A, so we can just simply write this as C, right? So we can just write B bar C, okay? And then this one is done. And then next gate, we took care of this one, this one over here. This we can't simplify right now, so we'll just leave it like that. What we can do is we can write the exclusive, expand it as what it is, that is A, B bar, O, a bar b that's what exclusive gate is right it's high when either a or b is high not when the other is high right so took care of this one and then the final gate over here right now this one it's basically saying c into and something and c bar so you know it basically have a c and a, a c bar together right whenever you have these teeth when this is like saying c O, C bar and something doesn't matter what whenever you have these two together we know that this is going to be zero right so don't need to worry about this term at all okay so this ends up being um, your final um, boolean statement so let's fill up the Carnot map let's do a b on top c d in the bottom so we'll go a bar b bar a b bar b a b and a b bar okay and then c bar d bar c d bar c d and c bar d okay 
so the first term one two three four uh, variables so there's only going to be one state you know you have four variables here all four are defined here so it only has going to be one state so we have a b a b c d one okay this one is done then b bar c right only two variables so we should be doing four you should be checking for four terms um, did I do that right? Yes, that's correct. B bar C, right? So then we have B bar. So it's these two, these two columns and C. So these two. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Two term, two, right? And two are not specified. So we have four terms. Okay, done. Right. Then next C, D, right? C, D. So that's in this line. And we're looking at a and a bar and b and this one so this one's already done so okay done right so we have these put zeros on the others right and then we can group so i hope you can see that there are two nice groupings one over here this is simply just cd and then a nice grouping over here, right? And the green one is now going to be what? C and common to these two is going to be B bar. So B bar C. And that's it. That is the uh, minimized circuit. We can do this as well you can say this is b bar c or c d and because c is common you can even do this b bar d right and actually this is the one i'd like to draw you'll get marks if you draw this or you draw this you'll get marks full marks for either one so it really doesn't matter but this um, i prefer to draw this because it's simpler to um, connect the circuits the, the wires so we'll have B bar, B bar, or D uh, goes over there, and that into a hand kit. Right, that is that, and that is P. I'm sorry, I, I, I keep writing Q for this. This is P. And that is the P output and uh, that's it so if you do it this way you'll get uh, full marks again um, I haven't asked you to write these parts right but it's always a good idea because if you don't get the final answer right I do give partial marks for filling in the Kano map and even if you get you know say you make one mistake here you will get everything else um, right and even if you draw the circuit according to this you get marks for drawing this circuit as well right so you know show your work and that's usually a safer way uh, um, and uh, you so even if you don't get the final answer you get some partial marks